What's up everyone, it's Tech Trooper 64 and today I'm going to be talking about something that I know I'm a day late, I'm a dollar short when it comes to this topic, but I really wanted to talk about it and I know I didn't talk about it before, but that was because I was busy with my job. Uh, long story short, I couldn't do a lot of YouTube videos, but anyway, here we are talking about the new Nintendo 2DS XL. In this video, I'm going to be going over my take on it, what I think about it, and without further ado, let's take a look at what this product from Nintendo is bringing. Uh, I'm reading this from the Nintendo 2DS XL website, uh, which I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Step up to XL screens in an easy, lightweight, go-anywhere system for only $149.99. Uh, what's new about the new Nintendo 2DS XL? Uh, it gives you the power of the new Nintendo 3DS XL in an affordable package. It has 82% larger XL screens compared to the Nintendo 2DS. It has a new ergonomic look and design, and it's lightweight, but yet it's powerful. A fast processor offers short loading time so you can start playing in a snap, and it's all lightweight, play anywhere package. You can also use Amiibo on there with and no, with no um, problem whatsoever. You just scan your Amiibo on the bottom screen, and it works. There's so many games that you can play. You can play Nintendo 3DS games, new Nintendo 3DS exclusive games, and Nintendo DS games all in 2D on the screens. More control. The game will. The console will also have a C stick similar to the Nintendo 3DS XL. Sorry, the new Nintendo 3DS XL. Uh, there will also be ZL and ZR buttons on the back of the system. Now, here's where I give my take on this system. It's a great system. Not gonna lie, it looks really, really good. I already have mine pre-ordered at GameStop or EB Games here in Canada. Um, and I think it's a great system. It looks really, really nice. Now, of course, I don't have one, so I can't prove that it's a great system, but um, if you subscribe to my channel, I will be doing a video unboxing and a review once I have it in my hands. To be honest, it looks really good. Um, it looks like Nintendo really wanted to make the ultimate 3DS. Like, if this is a sign that Nintendo is sending away the 3DS forever, like this is the last year of the 3DS, no more after it, then in that case, this is a beautiful send-off. I like this system. It's great. But my question is to Nintendo, where was this system before? This is what people wanted. A new Nintendo system that had the new power that you advertised in 2015 and it was XL and it had 2D. Like my 3DS, I haven't touched it in a while and that's because the screen was broken and I was in no mood to contact Nintendo to set up a repair because that's a pain in the ass actually, to be honest with you. I'm actually really happy that the 2DS XL exists and I'm really, really pumped to come pick one up. In Canada, it's $200 but for us, that's actually still pretty cheap considering that the new Nintendo 3DS XL actually costs $240. So it is still cheaper for us in Canada. Overall, I really like the system. Um, it's a perfect price. It's sitting between the comfortable uh, amount of $150, which is cheaper than the 3DS XL and more expensive than the 2DS. I think this is the best system. And you know what? Just basing off of what I see right now, I think it's definitely something that I would recommend any of you pick up if you're looking for a cheap Nintendo 3DS that is capable, that can play all the games, and is uh, portable. That's just me, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Are you going to be picking up a Nintendo 2DS XL? And if so... Does this intrigue you and make you think that Nintendo will support the 3DS in 2018 and onward? Be sure to rate, comment, favor, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.